heat and its effects science grade 6 unit 9 these are the subunits 9.1 heat generation 9.2 effects of heat under that topic we have to discuss increase in temperature expansion change of state of matter color change the environment gets heated during the daytime and it gets cool during the night this happens due to sunlight sun gives us two types of energy called heat and light what is the normal body temperature of a healthy human being it's 37 degrees celsius if you take it in fahrenheit 98.4 the body temperature of birds and mammals uh, does not change according to the temperature of the environment that's why they are called warm blooded animals their body temperature does not change according to the environment it's constant the body temperature of some other animals changes according to the environment they are called cold blooded animals now you all have to separate the following animals as warm blooded and cold blooded now if you take tiger tiger is a mammal it belongs to warm blooded parrot it's a bird it is also a warm blooded animals animal cow it's a mammal it belongs to warm blooded animal cow dog dog is also a mammal and called sorry warm blooded frog it's an amphibian it it's a called blooded animal and lizard call blooded insects call blooded crocodiles call blooded deer it's a mammal it belongs to warm blooded bat again it's a mammal warm blooded dolphin it's a mammal and warm blooded whale also a mammal and a warm blooded animal ostrich largest bird in the world it's a bird it belongs to warm blooded tortoise it's call blooded snail call blooded cobra call blooded right what are the adaptations shown by a camel to live in deserts a camel can last three months without water a special adaptation for desert living camels store fat in the hump not water the fat can be metabolized for energy unlike most mammals a healthy, a healthy camel's body temperature fluctuates throughout the day from 34 degrees celsius to 41.7 degrees celsius this allows the camel to conserve water by not sweating as the environmental temperature rises and also there is another adaptation shown by the camels have nostrils that can open and close now these are nostrils the nostrils can open and close protecting the uh, respiratory tract from sand and uh, birds they are warm blooded as i mentioned earlier uh, they are normal body temperature and or average body temperature one is 1.1 105 degree Fahrenheit warm blooded animals and polar bear walrus they are also warm blooded animals they are mammals and they are also warm blooded animals and what are the adaptations shown by these animals who live in mountains 
these animals have developed fur fur on their body for the purpose of insulation these animals have developed fur for the purpose of insulation these animals have thick layer of fat on them which get, give them heat insulation i am going to explain that bears undergo hibernation during winter season when the winter season comes it's very cold so they sleep for a long time and they are having an increased lung capacity what is insulation insulation which is a major thermoregulatory adaptation in mammals and birds as i mentioned earlier mammals and birds are warm blooded the open body temperature is controlled reduces the flow of heat between an animal and its environment and also uh, they for that purpose they may include feathers fur or blubber what is a blubber blubber is a thick layer of fat directly under the skin of all marine and mammals now if you take these whales dolphins they are having uh, blubber it's a thick fat layer and also the see uh, the cat is covered with fur the whole body is covered with uh, fur to protect uh, to keep the warmth inside its body what is our main source of heat our main source of heat and light is the sun sun gives us heat and light uh, two types of energy now uh, look at this picture that i have shown you an object here what is the temperature of that uh, body it's 27 degrees celsius how do you increase the temperature to 30 degree celsius so you have to supply a type of energy called heat if you supply heat the temperature increases the type of energy that is used to increase the temperature of some objects is heat it's a type of energy 9.1 in your textbook it is about heat generation how do we generate heat now the first example if you rub your palm together due to friction you can generate produce heat you just uh, rub your palm together and see so you feel you can feel uh, the heat produced in your palms by rubbing two stones if you rub two stones also you can generate heat and if i think you all have learned about solar heater solar heaters also uh, produce heat and then uh, there is an activity activity 9.3 given in your textbook let's make a model of solar water heat uh, so you be better go through that activity and try to draw and try to make one uh, like that using some pipes right so it's activity 9.3 next we are going to discuss about the sources of heat what are the sources of heat now our main source of heat is sun and also if you burn fossil fuels like kerosene oil coal diesel petrol we can uh, generate heat combustion of fossil fuels and if we burn firewood like this we can generate heat as well as light energy now if we burn coal we can produce generate heat if we burn kerosene oil also we can uh, generate heat and if we burn firewood also we can generate heat and also uh, natural gas natural gas is called methane methane can be used to generate heat in rural areas they use they produce methane using cow dung uh, and uh, rotting vegetable materials they are, they use those things to generate produce methane or biogas and we can use paddy husk and sawdust paddy husk 
Sawdust can be used to generate heat. And cow dung in some countries, especially in India, they use cow dung, they make cow dung uh, like cakes and put them into uh, the hearts because uh, when, when they burn this, they can generate, they can produce heat, cow dung. They use cow dung to, uh, 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 the way we use firewood, they use cow dung to produce heat. And biogas, I, I, mean, I have mentioned about biogas, that is actually methane, uh, cow dung, uh, and uh, decaying vegetable materials, rotten vegetables can be used to generate biogas. And I have shown you some pictures of heat generating appliances. Electricity is used here. Electricity is used here to generate heat energy electricity is converted to heat energy in these appliances now you can see uh, an electric iron an electric kettle a toaster two toasters are shown here an immersion heater these are some appliances which generate produce heat energy here conversion of in energy transformation of energies electricity is converted to heat energy some more examples rice cooker hair dryer oven geyser they also convert heat electricity to heat energy then you have to make a heating Coil. Let's make a heating coil. Activity 9.4. I think you all can make a heating coil. It's an easy activity which you all can do. You need only a coil. Coil like this and uh, wind it around a pencil and connect that uh, coil uh, to the ter two terminals of, uh, of dry cells right so it's easy for you to make you have to have a long wire coil like this to generate uh, heat let's make a heating coil a thin enameled copper wire a paper cutter two dry cells and a pencil right uh, they have mentioned here the method wind the wire around the pencil overlapping one another connect the cells to the two ends of the wire for about one minute check carefully whether this coil is heated so that is let's make a heating coil you all can do because uh, if you are staying at home you can make now what are the effects of heat increase of temperature these are the sub topics that we have to discuss increase of temperature expansion what i'm going to explain what is expansion change of state of matter and color change increase of temperature we have already discussed about increase of temperature during the daytime the environment becomes hot and night it becomes cold and if we take ice if you uh, supply heat to ice ice turns to water if you supply more heat to water water becomes steam or water vapor if you remove heat from steam or water vapor, steam becomes water. If you remove more heat by keeping water in a refrigerator, you can convert water to ice by releasing, by removing heat energy. Now there is another activity given in your textbook, activity 9.5. For that, uh, you need a beaker of water, a thermometer and Bunsen burner or you can use a spirit lamp if you don't have a Bunsen burner or a candle flame. Right, let's observe how temperature of water changes. Right, now uh, you, uh, you have to prepare the setup as shown in this figure. Light up the spirit lamp or the Bunsen burner and... Uh, observe the change of temperature mentioned in the 
thermometer. So you will be able to see the temperature rises. Right? Uh, conclusion is when heat is supplied, the temperature increases. When heat is released, the temperature decreases. Right? Do you know the boiling temperature of water? What is the boiling temperature of water? It's 100 degree Celsius. Now, uh, second one, expansion. What is expansion? Right? Uh, I Here there is an activity shown here to explain about expansion. What is expansion? If something becomes uh, larger in size after heating, it is called as expansion. If something becomes larger, volume increases. The size increases after heating, it is called expansion. Right, so uh, there is an uh, apparatus like this in the science lab. In your science lab, you can see this, which is used to show expansion. First, what you should do is heat this ball shown here. Heat the ball, and uh, before heating, you have you will be able to pass this ball through this ring you will able you will be able to pass this ball through this ring so if you heat the volume gets increased and try to pass this ball through this ring after heating you will not be able to pass this ball through this ring as it gets expanded the volume increases that is called expansion so will you will not be able to pass this ball through this ring after heating right that is this activity can be used to show expansion of solids now some other instances where we can uh, see expansion if you take a railway track they have kept uh, some gaps in between these rails uh, they have left a gap these gaps there are gaps between the rails. These gaps are left to allow for expansion. These gaps are there for expansion. Otherwise, derailing of the train will occur. Derailing of the train will occur if they keep, if they don't keep these gaps in between these uh, rails. Right, hooping a cartwheel. What is hooping a cartwheel? Right, now you can see a wooden wheel here. Wooden wheel, the wheel made of wood and a metal ring. The metal tire for a wooden wheel is made slightly smaller than the wheel. Now this, the metal ring is made slightly smaller than this wooden wheel. So, how do they fix this? It is now the metal ring. It is then heated strongly. And due to expansion, uh, it gets little bigger. It is then heated strongly and expanded sufficiently to enable it to be fitted on the wheel. Then the whole wheel is submerged in cold water. And the contraction of the iron hoop pulls the joints of the wheel tightly together. Nobody can remove, nobody can separate the wooden wheel and the metal ring after fixing. Right? So here also we use expansion of solids and contraction of solids. Expansion and contraction. This is called hooping a hard wheel. Now you, you know, if we want to remove a, a metal lid from a bottle, we can heat the metal lid a little. So then you will be able to remove the metal lid easily from the bottle without breaking the bottle. And another experience that we uh, uh, experience in our day-to-day -day life, another instance, pouring hotly 
liquids into glass containers may break them. The other part is expansion. Not only solids, liquids also expand. Expansion of uh, liquids. So they have shown. Uh, they have given another activity. Activity nine point seven in your textbook, which is used to show expansion of liquids. Let's investigate the expansion of liquids. For that, you will need a glass bottle, a rubber cork that can be fixed to the bottle, a tube of a pen, a beaker with hot water, small amount of ink. Please take your textbook and turn to that page and uh, go through that. Method: Take a rubber cork and make a hole in the middle. Put the tube of pen through the hole. Put the ink into the bottle. Fix the cork to the bottle. Place the bottle in hot water beaker. So, what will happen if you keep uh, that bottle in warm water, uh, hot water? The uh, ink level will rise. Now, if you look look at this activity, you will be able to see the liquid rises up the glass tube. So, this uh, liquid which is inside this vessel gets heated and expanded. Then it rises through this glass tube. So, this activity can be used to explain show expansion of liquids. Activity nine point seven. given in your textbook can also can be used to uh, explain expansion of liquids so uh, another instance very important instance where we use expansion of uh, liquids is thermometers mercury there are two types of thermometers called mercury thermometer and alcohol thermometer if you take the mercury thermometer there is a bulb filled with mercury and if you take alcohol thermometer there is a bulb filled with al alcohol normally alcohol is colorless by putting a dye uh, we can uh, make it uh, red so uh, red alcohol is used here uh, when this bulb the mercury or the alcohol absorb heat the uh, mercury column A mercury rises through this uh, tube. There is a small capillary tube inside this thermometer. The mercury uh, will rise. Now here, alcohol rises through this capillary tube uh, due to expansion. After absorbing heat, this uh, alcohol gets expanded and moves through this capillary tube. So we can measure the temperature using this. Uh, two types of thermometers mercury and alcohol thermometer now i have shown you some examples for expansion of gases not only solids liquids gases also expand expansion of gases gases expands when heated now here are two examples where we use and if we uh, take this balloon after Uh, getting heat heat energy these air particles inside the uh, balloon uh, get, gets heated and sometimes the balloon will burst the third example third one uh, change of state of matter what is change of state of matter now if we take these ice cubes Uh, after getting heat ice turns to water then water turns to water vapor this is a reversible uh, reaction uh, then if we remove uh, heat as i mentioned earlier remove heat from water vapor water vapor or steam becomes water if we remove more heat water becomes ice if we take solid wax If we supply heat, solid wax turns to liquid wax. Liquid wax turns to wax vapor. When we remove uh, heat from wax vapor, wax turns to liquid wax. Liquid wax turns to solid uh, wax. These are some change of state of matter. 
Now color change, it is also given in your textbook. Uh, now if you take this smithy, in a smithy when a piece of metal is heated, first it turns to red and then, it, and then to orange. When it is heated further, it turns yellow. So keep this in mind, red then uh, changes to orange and then changes to yellow in a smithy. Right. If you take a filament by bulb like this, a similar phenomenon occurs when electric energy is provided to a filament bulb. There is a filament here. This is called filament made, of, made up of tungsten. So, if we provide electrical energy to the filament of the bulb, supply electric energy to a small torch bulb and observe the color of its filament. First, uh, it will, the filament will turn to red and then it turns to orange, then to yellow and at last it will turn to white. The reason for this color change is the transformation of electric energy to heat energy. So uh, then we are going to discuss about the effects of heat to the environment. Drought, forest flight. Now drought, you have, you have experienced about the, uh, drought. Think of the changes that occurred in your environment. Tanks dry out, the water level of wells go down, the land gets dry severely, the whole environment gets covered with dust and also sometimes forest fires also may occur due to severe heat. These forest fires spread very easily as the trees are dry. Next one. The effects of heat to the environment other than drought and forest fires. If we take the water cycle, I think you all have learned about the water cycle. Uh, the water is recycled on the earth. This process is called the water cycle. The heat of the sun affects the water cycle. Here also heat energy is used. Water on the earth evaporates due to sun's heat. The evaporated water in the atmosphere gets cool and falls back on the earth as rain. That is called precipitation. Next one. Water currents occur in oceans. Water currents occur in oceans. It is identified that there are currents in oceans which are almost similar to large rivers. So, these, this water flows like large rivers. We cannot see uh, from top but uh, these wat water currents can be seen under the water. They also occur due to hot heat. Water in oceans near the equator is warmer. You know, near the equator, it, the water is warmer than the water in oceans in northern and southern, northern and southern hemispheres, poles. Water, uh, warm water flows towards the poles as well as cold water flows towards the equator. Due to this, uh, Temperature changes, water currents occur in oceans. Global warming occurs as a result of too much combustion of fossil fuels and deforestation. <coughs> as a result, glaciers start to melt. Now you all can answer these questions. Select the correct answer. Type of energy that warms things. Heat or light. Substances increase in size due to gaining heat. Expansion or contraction. Find the answer. Decrease in size of things by losing heat. Expansion or contraction. A gas by which the temperature of the earth increases. Oxygen or carbon dioxide. When heat is supplied to a body, its temperature increases or decreases. Our main source of heat is fossil fuels or sun. 
normal body temperature of a healthy human is how much is it an animal whose body temperature does not change with the temperature of the environment is it frog or parrot a thermometer measures heat or amount of heat these are formed in oceans due to changes in temperature of ocean water tsunami or ocean currents please answer these questions and please do subscribe to my channel thank you for joining